Udonis Haslam has been in the NBA for a long time. This is Haslam's 19th season with the Heat, which is tied for the third most amount of seasons that a player has ever spent with a single franchise. The crazy thing is, Haslam isn't much of a player at all. He's actually more like a coach. And today I'm going to tell you how Udonis Haslam became both a player and a coach for the Miami Heat. When Udonis Haslam entered the NBA in 2003, the Miami Heat had just come off a pretty terrible season with a record of 27 wins and 57 losses. In that offseason, along with signing Haslam, the Heat also drafted Dwayne Wade with the fifth overall pick in the draft. This duo would be consistent in the franchise for many years to come. Getting Shaq a year later, would soon lead the Heat to an NBA championship. And as Shaq left and the Heat got both LeBron James and Chris Bosh, the team saw their most successful seasons ever, making the finals four years in a row, winning two championships. Soon, LeBron James left back for Cleveland, Chris Bosh was gone, and even the Heat's beloved Dwayne Wade left Miami. But one person was constant through it all, Udonis Haslam. Haslam has been there for the Heat's 15 win seasons and for their 66 win seasons and everything in between. He's played with and against some of the greatest NBA players in history. He's also played for and against some of the greatest teams in NBA history. Haslam has a unique perspective that is rare for most players to ever see, and it allows him to be an important member of the Miami Heat's franchise to this day even though he rarely ever touches the court. At over 41 years old, Haslam cannot produce much for his team on the court. He hasn't played much this season. Last season, he only played a single game. The year before that, he played four games. Over the last six NBA seasons, of the nearly 500 games a player can participate in in that time, Haslam played in less than 50 games. In those few games he did play, he's averaged about 7 minutes and 2 points per game. So since Haslam clearly is not doing much on the court for the team, what is his role? That question might be summed up best with this clip from the only game he played last year in his 18th season for the Miami Heat. This was one of the final games this season for the team, and since it was a home game, I assume the Heat coach Eric Spolstra wanted to at least let Haslam in to play for a little bit of time. The Heat fans love Haslam because he's been with the team for such a long time and he's a local guy that was actually born in Miami and does a lot of stuff in the city. So naturally, when Haslam entered the game, he was giving a standing ovation by the crowd. But just two minutes into playing, he got ejected. Boxing out Dwight Howard for a rebound, it seems as though Howard pushed Haslam, making him fall on the ground. You can see on Haslam's face that he waited for a second to think about his response. And once he was done thinking about it, he went over to Dwight Howard and started talking to him about what just happened. The conversation then seemed to get a bit heated, and Haslam stuck his finger right in Howard's face and apparently even hit him in the face, so that was the reason for him getting ejected. The reason why I think this clip shows why Haslam is still a player with the Heat is because he's a veteran player that is with the organization to show his teammates what the NBA is all about. Haslam could have either let the altercation with Howard slide, or he could have confronted him. Now maybe Haslam didn't have to poke him in the face, since apparently he did, but I think it was good that Haslam confronted Howard in the first place and did not back down. When talking about Haslam's role in the team, the Heat coach Eric Spolstra said, Everybody knows in this building, but most importantly in that locker room, the level of impact he has. That's developing leaders in the locker room, and helping teach and cultivate a culture that means something to us. In order to be a successful team in the NBA, it takes more than having just great players. Teams with the greatest individual players don't always win the most games and titles. It takes more than individual talent. It takes team chemistry that is built through not only playing together, but understanding the roles and responsibilities of each person on the team. Having experienced players on a team is important because they can help their teammates show them how the league works and what it takes to win games and hopefully avoid the flaws which make teams lose. 
and there's no better of this than Haslam. One time NBA champion Channing Frye had an interesting quote about Haslam and the need for veteran players on NBA teams. He said, You're undervaluing seatbelts in a really expensive Ferrari. Nobody ever cares that there's seatbelts in a Ferrari, but Udonis Haslam is a seatbelt. If anything goes wrong, he locks them up. He's the guy when Jimmy Butler or Victor Oladipo goes crazy, he brings them back in the seat so they're connected to the car and they don't fly off the rails. As you can see, Haslam plays an important role for the Miami Heat organization. Although he doesn't really have an on-the-court presence, his presence on the bench and in the locker room is something that cannot be measured with stats. And it is something of great importance to players on the Miami Heat and the success of the team as a whole. He's a mentor for players and can be seen kind of like a coach of player development and of how players should act in the NBA. Do you think Udonis Haslam is an important piece to the Miami Heat success? Do you think NBA teams need veteran players like Haslam to help young players adjust to the league? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like this video and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Thanks for watching.